Hey folks, Steve here. Update on the ongoing. So this uh, wall that we left clad with the original planking, which would have been the exterior of the house before the siding, and we have an artifact right there in the corner board that they put on, actually shows the siding and it's been cut. So with that, I have it furred out to make sure that my drywall hits correctly uh, with that door frame. And what else? Framing in here, framing up there, framing down there, framing here <laughs> and framing there, everything just kind of plussing it all up and then I furred everything out to make sure again that my drywall is going to be hitting correctly around these windows so my drywall does not cause me to have any, any additional jam extensions. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Uh, this wall doesn't need to have anything done to it except of course I'll have to play around with that electrical at some point, get it into junction boxes. And I do have all the electrical to do in here as far as just to set the boxes and all. But we have, uh, to, right now, I need to fire block all in here and so that top course of planking I'm going to remove and then I'll be able to get some fire blocking in there and do what I need to do. The cladding will go back, the planking will go back. Why I'm cutting along that ledger board is because the planking goes up behind of course the roof, what it would have been at least the roof or the second floor of the upstairs part of the porch. Because that cladding is behind and I only need to take down what I can see to get some fire blocking in there. I just need to relieve it all the way across so I can pull those out and I can put it back after the, after the uh, blocking is in. So I have what I need to expose up here, all the way across. Nice to know there's a header there. Uh, outside door, gable end, uh, they put a header in. Now, I have not found a header above this, door, uh, this window, so I kind of had to reconstruct one. And no real header above that window, uh, just a ledger board. So, you know, a little bit hit and miss on this framing. But again, I'm not complaining because it lasted 100 plus years without fail. So I'm not going to complain too much. But now I'm cutting the fire blocks. I've got measurements all the way across. Fit them, tack them, and then go ahead and put the uh, planking back, and then call that a good. Call that good.
just going to scrap it and we're going to go to what we're going to do anyway which is uh, put the Roxwell insulation in. I have a high density R15 that we'll actually be putting in but every one of these joist pockets is custom <laughs> so it'll be a matter of uh, everything will be just cut and fitted but fortunately Roxwell is really easy to work with to custom cut to custom fit so that'll be easy enough and we will our our insulation factor will be 100 percent better than it ever was and that's all all good all right well so what am i going to do now i got to switch gears and i'm going to be doing electrical boxes so i'm going to sort out all the electrical i have here i'm just laying it all out and then i'm going to figure out where i want all my boxes specifically get them all nailed on nailed on get the wires through them um and then once that's all done kind of like the rough in then i can go back and i can start putting insulation in at that point so that's what i'm doing Hey, how you doing? Steve here. Uh, this is probably in the middle of a video somewhere, but all right, here we go. So we just got done with uh, the insulation as far as what we can do for today. Um, we ran out of insulation. That wall will get insulated. Uh, it's kind of like a sound thing. Uh, but we also have a radiator there, and it'll be nice if it's bouncing the radiator heat into here as opposed to uh, just losing it into the wall cavity. So that's why we're going to do that. And we're going to end up with some more insulation, and so we'll be able to finish that later. But this is a Roxwool product. It's an R15. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, the planking, right? So let me show you uh, what we insulated. We were careful to get the uh, cavities around the window as well. And it certainly did, of course, change the acoustics. As everyone knows, you know, once you put insulation in, the acoustics have really changed. So we got that around there. Certainly above the window. And over here, all the way down, this is going to be a switch kit or a switch package. 
That's what we're going to do. And for that, I need access up there. That's why all of that's not done yet. I have ceiling work to do, and so we didn't insulate any of the joist pockets yet. But all of that, when we're done, will get insulated there. Anything that's outside wall, yeah, let's cut down on all this draft. Hey, folks. I was editing the video, and I realized I kind of transitioned from the insulation right into issues with the ceiling, with laser level and everything else. And that really is another video. Otherwise, this thing would go 15, 20 minutes about putting up the joists and everything else. So I'm going to cut it off here, and I'm going to say thank you very much for sticking with me. If you would, like and subscribe. And have a very good afternoon, very good evening, very good day, very good whatever you're having, because I know you deserve it. All right, y'all take care. See you in the next one.